In this video, I'll show you how to use Lighthouse and we'll cover everything from performance, accessibility, best practices and SEO. I'll break down what each of these reports means and show you three easy ways to generate them. Plus, I'll share important tips on optimizing your site for better scores and performance. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, this guide will help you make your website faster, more user-friendly and SEO optimized. So, here's how Lighthouse works. It analyzes your site and rates it across five categories. It then gives you a score from zero to 100 for each category and your site is ranked on Google according to what your scores are. Okay, you must be wondering what these reports are all about. Well, a performance report tells you how quickly a website loads and overall how fast it feels. Then there's the accessibility report, which looks at how easily people with disabilities can use your site. The best practices report checks if your website follows the latest web development standards. So things like your site should run on the HTTPS standard, follow the latest security practices and more. On the other hand, the SEO report covers technical SEO topics like mobile friendliness and meta descriptions. Finally, the progressive web app report is less common. As most websites don't have a progressive web app, so you might not see this score often. Generally, a fast, user-friendly and SEO optimized website should score high in all five reports. Now that you know what Lighthouse is all about, I'll show you three ways to use it. First method is to access Lighthouse from DevTools. Let's say I want to analyze the Facebook site. First, I'll open the site in incognito mode because I don't want any Chrome extensions to interfere with the analysis. Type facebook.com and press enter. Right click on the web page and select inspect. Now click here and select Lighthouse. Here, you can choose the categories you want in the report and select the preferred devices. I'll choose desktop and click analyze page load. The tool will start analyzing the web page and as you can see, it shows scores in four main categories. Facebook could improve the best practices score, but everything else looks fine. You can scroll down to check out the scores in detail and what you can do to improve them. Similarly, you can access Google Lighthouse by installing the Chrome extension. Click here to go to the Chrome store, search for Lighthouse, click add to Chrome and you'll see the Lighthouse icon, which you can pin to the address bar. Now. You can click here to generate a Lighthouse report like this for any website you visit. You can also visit this website to get Lighthouse reports. On the website, search for PageSpeed, then click the PageSpeed Insights. You can enter the URL of any website here to see the report. I'll enter this one for now, and it will show the Lighthouse score for that website. Once you know how to use Lighthouse, you can improve your website's performance by applying the tips and suggestions mentioned in the report. For example, to load a web page quickly, you can keep the size of the images as small as possible. You can also remove unused JS and CSS codes for an added performance boost. To make these optimizations on your site, just go to this link and we'll download the plugin from here. You can just click on sign up, add your website URL and download the plugin from here. Just go and upload the plugin, then run the plugin and it will start analyzing your site. Now this is a good time to let you know that image optimization is only one part of what this plugin does. There's a whole bunch of other optimizations here as well because it's a complete speed solution. And here we have an initial score and the rest of the pages are still optimizing. So let's fast forward a few minutes and the process is complete. We can see that the overall site has increased. If I scroll down, this is showing me how the overall size of the site has reduced. And if we scroll, here, it's showing that image resizing has happened. They've been converted to WebP, lazy loading has also been done, and all 12 images on my homepage are now optimized. So, the total size has also gone down a lot. But I can get even more details by going up and clicking Optimization Settings. Then, going down to Images, and now I can also customize if I want certain images to not be lazy loaded, and a bunch of other things. Another way to have a fast and user-friendly website is to use a CDN. It is a network of servers located closer to end users that sends web content like text, images, and videos quickly whenever someone opens a website. I'm using Cloudflare because it's one of the fastest CDN services, improving your site's performance by over 75%. And it's also free to use. So let's set it up quickly. Fill in your details and set up your account. Next, paste your website URL, Select the free plan and Cloudflare will scan your DNS records. DNS is like the internet's phone book. 
translating domain names to IP addresses. Cloudfest fast DNS servers help your site load quicker by fetching data more quickly. Okay, now save the changes, go back to the Cloudfest setup and click done. Then select get started, enable both HTTPS options on the quick setup page and save the settings. Now just finish the setup and that's it. Cloudfest CDN will be activated on your site within a few hours. Finally, as more and more people visit websites from their smartphones and tablets, it's important to have a mobile layout of a website that is fast, interactive and responsive. So just make sure that you go to your website builder, change the mobile layout and optimize your site. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.